Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you a few trades that were posted on Monday, 20th of March 2023. These trades were shared by MG who's trading Dow Jones Industrial Average in form of CFT. Using a Forex broker, we can see that using a macro chart and also a structural 15 minute, we are in uptrend. So using one minute trading chart, MG identified three opportunities of pullbacks and using algorithm one to five, he entered three positions here and managed them and closed them with profit. And you can see the result of the day for his trades here. So thank you MG for sharing your trades with us. The next trade was shared by Yan, or global instructor, who's trading Nasdaq CFT using a Forex broker. As you see in the macro chart, we reach area of the resistance and the price got rejected. That can be seen in 30 minute chart as a downtrend. And when the pullback got completed, he identified an area of entry using one minute trading chart. And again, when the pullback got completed, entered here based on algo one to five and close it with exit stage number one with profit so thank you Yan, for sharing your trades with us the next few trades are those i have taken at the beginning of new york market session and the video was sent to students yesterday with explanation so i'm gonna replay the video here for you hello everyone i like to share with you a few trades that i have taken at the beginning of new york market session on monday 20th of march 2023 these trades were taken on NASDAQ futures, E-mini and micro. And as you see, the market after reaching 12,800 on NASDAQ last week uh, started to go down during the global session on Monday and uh, couldn't pass the previous day close. So it went down and tested the previous day low. And also we can see during the New York market session when it's open it was fluctuating around the close of the day then it dropped and tested the previous uh, day low and we see now that it's just going up and down with these white candles highly volatile and cannot uh, decide to see if the buyers are stronger to pass the point of control or the sellers will eventually break this down and the downtrend started to go. Anyway, it seems now it's holding here at this level of uh, support and either the buyer will come back and bring this up or it will go down completely to retest again these kind of levels uh, and we will see what happened. Anyway, it's very sideways and highly volatile and we don't recommend novice traders to trade this market because essentially this is wide range volatile sideway and only set up B and C may work and you have to have uh, experience to handle that. So what I did, I waited for this to go down and test this level around 12,550 and when it started to go up again I took long positions here and also here you can see whether long positions and also here long positions that I closed here with profit and because it's very choppy I cannot also trade it and I have to wait to see if it get better at the end of market or not. Uh, anyway these trades were copied by copy trader to Apex trading fund accounts and uh, the average profit factor was 1.4 still positive uh, but anyway we don't expect high win rate around 70 percent here from long sides and average win to loss ratio of 0.61 and the largest losing and winning trades were around 390 and 600 dollars and uh, that's because of choppy nature of the market that is very hard to trade today so i'm gonna finish for now today and if i have later time i may check to see if it's become trendy and tradable looks like it's trying to break this range but every time when it reach around 12,600, it get rejected and it bounce back 
so hope this trace taken by the path system for fast sculpting is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions have a wonderful day